You may not know this, but when you're stabbing through a bubble tea or sipping iced coffee, you're grappling with a grave threat to our understanding of fluid mechanics, the drinking straw. This story and more on today's episode of Brainiacs. The straw, notorious spitball launcher and juice box menace, has confounded scientists for 5,000 years by violating all known laws of resistance or friction of flow because those rules were based on very long or very short pipes while straws fall in between. What we wanted to figure out is what happens when you have moderately fast flow through a moderately long pipe, kind of at the middle of all of those extremes. Turns out that the answer is actually kind of complicated. Uh -oh. So a team over at the Courant Institute, led by Professor Leif Ristroff, experimented with a variety of straws, ranging from really, really short and fat to really long and skinny. The result was a new mathematical formula mm -hmm. that Ristroff says could be useful mm. for studying the circulatory uh -huh. system since our veins, arteries, and capillaries essentially function as straws, subject to leaks, blockages, and insufficient flow. Our next story takes a swing at managing anxiety. In a study testing the mental health benefits of exercise for teens, Steinhardt physical therapy professor Anat Lubetsky pitted YouTube boxing videos against the virtual reality game Box VR. There's a lot of evidence that video games, gaming, VR encourages people to exercise. In a head-to-head -head comparison, VR boxing scored the knockout, proving more effective in lowering stress and anxiety and improving cognitive function. It also claimed the coveted title of more fun. If we could just have everyone exercise every day, there will be a lot less physical and maybe mental problems in this population, but it's difficult. In other big wins for tech, a new machine learning model may help prioritize emergency assistance across the globe by better predicting food insecurity. Courant visiting researcher Sam Fabergé and his colleagues created the model by feeding computers 11 million news articles from over a 40-year period, identifying keywords associated with food crises to guide the predictions. The new tool was found to be more accurate than traditional measures and may help issue famine warnings for hundreds of millions of people up to 12 months in advance. For more of these stories and all the latest NYU research, visit nyu.edu news. I'm Jade McLean, and I'll see you next time on Brainiacs.